Today we're going to do a makeup tutorial with this fantastic ring light right here. And it's just gonna stay here for the rest of this video. Just fantastic lighting. I'm really glad that I'm not a makeup tutorial artist. But today, instead, I'm going to show you guys some books. Yes, I know. After I come back from final exams, this is the video I have. But you know, I thought why not have some self-development time. Anyways, the first book I wanted to show you that I just really love, changed my life, is this book right here. Wait. Yeah, I don't know whose this is. Um, let's just... Okay. Speaking about school, there is one book that I really recommend for all those of you in school. There's this book by Chloe Burroughs. It's called The Return to Study Handbook. It's written for mature students, like adults who are returning back to school and everything, but there's so many good study strategies and mindset work in here that I think any student can take something away from it. And the reason why I love her book is it doesn't just focus on um, basic things like how to write Cornell notes and things like that, but also talks about growth mindset, talent versus hard work, um, motivation, and things like that, and productivity, organization, all of that. But it's not the basic tips that you would typically find in like a five minute YouTube video like oh five tricks on how to get A's and things like that but yeah for students I'd say this is a great handbook the next book I wanted to share is All Work No Pay by Lauren Berger and if you know about her she is the intern queen on YouTube and she makes a lot of videos about how to find an internship how to do well in your internship job searching and all that and why you should listen to her is that she has done 15 internships on college like I don't know about you but that is is insane like she's um done she's worked at mtv fox nbc and before internships were such a big thing she was already into it and she in this book this is one of the first self-help books i read i read it in like in high school and it's definitely helped me with finding internships and getting me to that mindset um right when i went into college and things like that and this is a super comprehensive book like i'm talking about um, how to write a resume step by step how to research companies how to cold call she has scripts in here for emails and things like that on how to follow up how to ask for an interview so if you're looking for an internship this summer or anything like a job this book is a game changer. The third book I wanted to share with you is this book by David Goggins. It's called Can't Hurt Me. And I have to tell you, even though this is one of my favorite books for motivation and inspiration, it is a really hard book to read just because the first couple of chapters goes into pretty graphic detail about his abusive childhood, um, struggling with depression, racism, and other mental health issues. But I think that what makes this book so special is that he was the only man in history um, at the time to be both to be a Navy SEAL, an Army Ranger, and Air Force Tactical Air Controller. Um, he completely trained for all three of these. And if you know about the trainings that they have to pass, the bar is set really high for all of these. And he was able to make it in the US Armed Forces as an icon. And he was also a world-class championship. Um, he won a Guinness World Record holder for completing 4,030 pull-ups in uh, 17 hours. He's spoken at a bunch of motivational talks and he's done ultra marathons triathlons things like that so if you're struggling with willpower or just want a really inspirational story to read i definitely recommend this book now the fourth book i wanted to share is talk like ted so if you're anything like me i used to really really struggle with public speaking like I don't even know how I'm able to talk to you guys right now, but seriously, like I am terrified of public speaking at times and I've definitely made it a goal of mine to work on it a lot. And some of the things I do is watch a lot of TED Talks and try to see what makes them really great speakers at the end of the day and how they're able to um, use certain techniques to make their stories and make their speeches more captivating, interesting for audiences. So if you're interested in up-leveling your public speaking um, talks and things like that, this book is really good. It has a bunch of these public speaking tips in here so you don't have to go through hours of TED Talks analyzing what people do. Um, this book basically does all the research for you. Everybody has to do public speaking at some point in their lives. Um, so definitely recommend. The next book is this book Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Now this is a classic for most people into personal finance books. You've probably read this book already but I have to say if you haven't read it 
go ahead and read it. Um, I know that um, I was a little bit turned off by it at first, just hearing the name of it, but it has a lot of great um, content in here, and it really changes the way you think about money, um, have, how you have a healthier money mindset, how you think about how you can grow your wealth and everything. At the end of the day, um, personal finances is not just about saving, and here he really gives you um, the things that he learns about how to grow your wealth and not just traditional um, stop buying coffee kind of advice. So I definitely recommend this book. Um, there's, you can take the advice that you like and leave the ones that you don't. Um, certainly you don't need to agree or follow everything that he teaches in his books, but that goes with everything, right? So um, I think that this is a good starting point for anybody who wants to get into personal finance and things like that. Um, and just understanding um, how people think um, for people who have made money and are able to grow it. Um, a lot of the concepts and theories that he teaches in this book are really important. So I think people should give it a try, read it, um, take what you can from it, and um, continue to read other books and find out other resources that will help you along this journey. But I think this is a great start to work for anybody interested in learning more about finances and managing their own money and things like that. So the next book I want to recommend to you guys is Dot Com Secrets. So this book, even though it's called Dot Com Secrets, I don't think it's actually about that. I think it's a catchy name, but it's really about internet marketing and sales funnels. And if you don't know what a sales funnel is, it's basically like when you land on a page and it leads to, to other pages and um, how it converts you to purchase something. So I think it's a pretty good introduction to your book to learn about that. Um, if you're interested in selling your own products or services later on, this is a great book to learn about how that works. Um, and it has these little cute cartoons throughout the book that I think really make the information digestible. And this book is actually free if you use my link below. So I'd say check it out. Um, there's a lot of cool templates and just information in here. It's like hundreds of pages and tons of good information that I haven't thought about before. So even if you're not trying to start your own business or anything, just learning about this type of information will help you go far um, as a customer or even when you're working for someone else. This would be something really beneficial to know about um, if you're interested in internet marketing or anything like that. So yeah, a cool book that I would say um, is pretty applicable to today's day and age where a lot of things get sold online. The next book is going to have a title that sounds like some sketchy sales book, but I promise you it's not. It's called Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone. Now the thing that you must know about Grant Cardone, he always titles his books with these catchy phrases like be obsessed or be average, um, sell or be sold, but let me tell you, after reading this book, you'd understand why this book was titled this way because it's really true. And trust me, this is not just for salespeople. This is not for people working off of commission or anything. You don't have to be an entrepreneur even to get something out of this book because everybody is trying to sell something. You're either trying to sell yourself, your services, your products, your ideas, um, or even you as a candidate when you're looking for a job. So all the time in life, you're trying to sell something. And this is a really good book to learn about persuasion techniques, um, how to convince, um, be able to negotiate properly, um, and things like that. So just really useful skills that you need anywhere in life, really. So I'd say this is a really good book. He covers a lot of things that he's learned throughout the years as one of the top salesmen. So I think that this book is a great book for students to read too, because we don't really get taught this in school and stuff. And this is just a really good book to understand how to sell yourself or even some of the ideas and products that you may come up later on in life. So that is all the books I have for you guys today and I hope that you guys check some of these out and read them. I have all the products in the description below. Let me know if you read any of them and if there's any books that you'd want me to check out and read. But yeah, I'll be posting more videos upcoming now that I'm finished finals. So I'll be back with some more content. But thank you all for just being so patient with me while I was stressed out with finals. Hopefully you guys have a great week ahead of you and I'll see you guys next time.